So it's day 76 or 77, I think, of me being in lockdown and not being able to work. Um, so I've decided I need a new project. Camper van, renovation, all done. Don't want to be sat home at board anymore. So I've decided it's time to fix this bad boy up. So this is my dad's boat. He bought it 29 years ago next month as a present to himself when I was born. Um, he used it for about five or six years before he um, bought it back here for its retirement and it's been sat here ever since. So like 23, 24 years it's been sat here gathering dust and not being used. So um, yesterday I decided that I'm not having it anymore. It can't sit here because it's a nice boat and the stories he's said to me uh, about when he used to go out on it seemed really fun and he's got a lot of good memories using this with my grandfather and um, a guy called Bubbles who was my mum's godfather and it just seemed like a really cool thing to try and do and to refurbish um, during the time where I'm not able to work. So obviously <laughs> I've never refurbished or revamped a boat before in my life. The closest I've got to it is doing the camper van at the beginning of lockdown. So it's definitely going to be a good project, but I, um, I've got a lot of learning to do. I think I'll take you off a tour of the boat in just a second, but it's definitely going to take a bit of time and probably lots of YouTube tutorials to work out how to do things and what, um, to do and, and how and, and the order to do it in. Um, so, I already spent some time cleaning it and bailing it yesterday, although it doesn't look like it from the front, but the inside is all stripped out, ready to go. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will take a little bit of time, a couple of weeks, something like that, to flip it, to turn it around. And um, yeah, hopefully it will be on the water soon because uh, my dad actually becomes a granddad this year, which is exciting. So my sister's uh, pregnant. So I say he initially bought this when I was born when he became a father for the first time as a celebration so it would be cool to have this revamped on the water fully restored in time for when he becomes a grandfather for the first time so yeah i'm going to document it i'm going to video it and hopefully before too long he'll be back on the water again so let me take you through and show you the boat um, so although I don't know the exact length of the boat, I would say it was probably 16 or 17 feet um, long and it's been sat here for about 24, 25 years. So it's in a bit of a state, let's say. So this bin, you can see it's a wheelie bin, was absolutely full of debris and dirt, which I have scooped out of the back of here. Um, so this is the rear of the boat. Um, you can see the line that it came up to. <laughs> um, so this was full of tree debris, um, debris because it's in the back of a garden underneath some conifer trees. So there was loads of leaves, dirt, trees, plants, anything and everything that you can imagine. It was in here growing um, and it came a bit of a dumping ground really. So there was all bits and bobs in here that I've had to clear out, dig out um, and then I had to bail out. So you can see there is a bit of water in here still from overnight where it rained. So I need to rebail that out. Um, obviously, the reason why we're doing that is sort of to check the condition of the um, fiberglass. And although, yes, it's not been pressure washed yet, that's a job for me to do once the rain stops here so I can bail it out and it can dry properly. Um, initial impressions is that it's really good. And the fact that it's um, holding water here would suggest to us that there are no leaks and that the boat is watertight, which is obviously very important. So let me take you into the back of the boat. So we have a Mercury outboard engine here. Um, it's not got its top on, it's not looking very pretty. Um, it's about 50 years old, we'd imagine, that outboard. So it's something that um, I'm personally not going to be working on, but it is something that my dad, who's into mechanics and doing things like that, is going to try and do. Um, but I'm in charge of doing the actual boat itself. So let me take you inside. So yesterday, <clears throat> I spent about an hour and a half bailing and cleaning out the rear of the boat. 
And then I turn my attention to the inside of the boat. So um, in both of these um, side units here um, are two leather seats. And during the day, obviously, you can come in here and you can sit down if it's raining outside or if you want to chill, you want to read a book. Um, and then um, in the evening time, there is a fold up table um, that you can use um, to eat or to um, read a book with or chill, whatever you want to do. But in the evening time, you can bring that down and it comes across here to make a double bed, basically. And then in the rear, there's also a leather seating unit um, as well. And underneath that is storage and there's storage in those two bunkers as well. So I've taken all that out and I've assessed the leather and the leather's actually in super good condition, um, which was really pleasing. So hopefully I won't have to re-upholster um, the leather because I'm not sure that I can do that. Um, but definitely the wooden backings of the chairs needs to be replaced. So in this area here, um, there used to be a toilet system in here um, that you could use if you got a bit cut short. Um, on top here was a sink unit, in this side here was a radio, and then in this side there was a stove cooker on the top here, a gas cooker, um, and also storage unit for pots and pans, food, etc. So um, the next steps for today are to come in here and to start to strip away the paint. Um, so you can see that the paint just literally comes off in my hands, it looks not so great. Um, so we've got a Send all that back today, um, all on the roof and everything as well. Um, assess the condition of the material underneath it, and then, um, yeah, mend the repair as necessary and then repaint. Um, all the carpets I need to get ripped off as well. I'm gonna rip off those carpets and then, um, yeah, redo all that too. So yeah, that's the next steps really. So. It's a bit to do, <laughs> there's a lot to do, um, but as I say, it's a good lockdown project. I'm unable to work as the government haven't given me any guidelines yet as to when I can. So it will give me something fun to try and do that I've never done before and to try and learn some new skills um, over the next couple of weeks really. But there you go.